PCR testing, which is our current test to detect the COVID virus in Australia, is proving a disaster. As a management tool used solely to contain the spread of management of COVID, it isn't working. And its failure is contributing to the Australian COVID fiasco, its spread, and the constant loop of going in and out of lockdowns. How much more can Australians take being locked up? How sustainable is the program of imprisoning people when the government should be working towards opening rather than the current failing strategy? But the great insult to Australians is a strategy deployed by governments across the country to maintain a single focused dependence on PCR testing as a COVID containment and management tool. The outbreaks of Delta across the country, where Victoria and New South Wales have been hit hardest, highlight the failure in this policy, a failure with PCR testing. And why Australians are being played as fools? It's the incompetence of health officials wedded to PCR testing and not exploring rapid testing as a critical part in managing and containing the spread of COVID, which is the problem. The powerful pathology lobby groups have hijacked the narrative and are placing money over the lives of Australians. Now, as a nation, we're relying on a form of testing that is not appropriate to manage the spread of COVID on its own. It's not suitable given what Australia has experienced during the past 18 months. And lives have been ruined because government, state and federal, refuse to adopt rapid testing. The rest of the world has, but Australia won't. We need to ask why. The answer lies in greed and the obscene money pathology companies make out of PCR testing. If Australia is ever to return to what can be considered normal, then rapid testing must form part of its defence strategy. But it's apparent, the powerful pathology groups don't want that to happen. To do that would mean relinquishing a business model that provides pathology companies with a financial return of millions of dollars per day. Do the sums. Two days ago, more than 84,000 PCR tests were conducted in New South Wales alone. At $180 per test, pathology companies reaped in more than $14.5 million in a single day. If we multiply the number of tests conducted daily across Australia, and the financial returns are either overwhelmingly offensive or obscenely impressive. Now, administering a rapid test is just $15. A PCR test is 180. You soon come to understand why sacrificing a huge financial windfall isn't going to happen. While PCR tests are highly effective, they also come with limitations in getting Australia open again. Currently, the reliance remains on vaccines playing their part along with PCR tests, but there has to be a rethink about existing strategies and how we do it. Based on medical and public health expert advice in many countries, including the CDC, the WHO, and a large percentage of Australia's current public health and epidemiology circles, they all agree that rapid COVID-19 point of care testing should form part of a responsible armory to combat COVID-19 infection in the world. PCR tests typically take a day or more, making them unsustainable for rapid turnaround test environments compared with the 10 minute rapid antigen testing results. A 95% accuracy is expected for PCR based tests and around 92% for the rapid antigen antibody testing. Now, while the accuracy of the tests are very similar, the ability of antigen testing to control the spread of the virus is equally, if not more effective because of the immediacy of the results enabling broader community testing and results to be delivered in settings where now, currently, it is not feasible to test. Rapid testing is now a recognised and vital part of the global response in the fight against COVID. But Australia is slow to implement rapid testing. Internationally, rapid antigen testing is given to members of the public directly by the UK government who entrust them with management and control of their own health. The test is also registered and available in supermarkets in Germany and as a means by which its population manages and controls their own health. They're also available to be purchased at local pharmacies in the United States. And yet, here in Australia, a country with one of the most outstanding healthcare systems in the world, it isn't. Why? It's a question the federal government must answer. 
and the lobbying power of the pathology groups are part of the problem. It seems crazy in a fight against COVID that state and federal governments have no clear policy around the use of rapid antibody and antigen testing and no appetite for it. Their refusal is a failure to offer Australians the best strategy to contain COVID and allow the country to return to normality and reconnect with the outside world. The time has come for the federal and state governments to start rethinking their strategy around how we deal with COVID. Rapid testing must be part of the solution. The pathology groups are fighting tooth and nail to protect the millions they earn daily, and that makes them complicit in our ability to contain the spread of COVID.